November, I think uh, 2001, I was in South Carolina on vacation with my family. And my nephew, you know, just kept asking me to ride his bike. And I've been riding motorcycles since I was 10. I hit loose gravel on blacktop, and uh, the bike slipped off the road, and I went in the ditch. And uh, I was in the ditch, I think they said about at least 20, 30 minutes before anybody realized I was gone. I was more amazed than I was afraid because I just kept looking at my legs and telling myself to move and they wouldn't move. Because I was like, you know, how am I going to support my family? You know, that was my, my, fan, my main fear. Right at that point, I had just finished a movie called uh, Black Knight starring Martin Lawrence. And uh, that movie, I was supposed to go to the premiere. So I, was, I came to Atlanta to go to South Carolina to take my family to our Heritage Day. And then after I came back, I was supposed to fly back to LA for the permit. And I never made it back. At that point, you're like, wow, hold up. What's going to happen now, you know? But it was amazing how um, Hollywood stepped up. When I did Ed, that was one of the funniest things because, you know, somebody made a phone call and told these guys that, yo, we heard you looking for a new, you know, to looking to recast the show. And he was like, well, you should see Daryl Chill Mitchell because he's all right, he's ready to work. And these guys were like, what? Isn't he in a wheelchair? They was like, yeah. They was like, well, we ain't kind of looking at that for that at the moment. You know, they told me later. They were like, you know, what do we say to you? We didn't even know what to say to you. We didn't know what to say to, you know, you coming in the room. So after we sat down and talked, and then, you know, they asked me some things, and I told them some of the funny situations that I've been into since I got into this wheelchair, things that have happened. They were like, yo, I got back to the hotel. They called and was like, look, man. We want to be in business with you, dude. We'll, don't worry about it. We'll work it out. And the, and the funniest thing is I was healing up on the show. I was still healing while I was working. And that's the, the thing. And they just showed me patience. They showed tolerance. And that's, the, you know, and, and understanding. The best part about being at work is it allowed me to go out and try things knowing that I had a support system. We shot, you know, at all time of day, all time of night, which, you know, I had to be out of elements doing things, you know, and, and it showed me that, yo, you know what, you can do this. And that's the mental part. The physical part was actually, actually working. Being mobile, um, that helped build my strength. There is life after paralysis. You can still continue and even more because, believe it or not, people are more out to help you. And the thing about it is, a lot of times in the, in the, in the minority communities, the major thing that we lack is information. I use the paralysis resource guide like a Bible. I keep it with me at all times. But I mean, I, I now I rarely even have to use it because I just log on to www.paralysis.org. A little adversity goes a long way. Sometimes you need a little adversity in your life. I've already faced this challenge in my career, in my life. But it was just another thing 